All right, so here we are at the Mammoth Mountain. What a beautiful day to try this uh, new Snowfeet product. These are uh, Skiboard 65. My question is, how is this gonna be different from the skis? I mean, by the way, what I, uh, what I can tell you is, with this, you are 100% more free compared to skis. This feels less restrictive. I can feel I can play. With these on my feet, the whole mountain turns into an ultimate playground. Um, obviously, I need to uh, do more of this, but so far it feels fantastic, and I can't wait to uh, do it all the more. Let's go. Absolutely amazing, guys. If you're into skiing or skating, this is something in between, but the uh, reduced length really allows you to uh, do all sorts of cool tricks. You feel free. This is definitely more playful than regular skis. And let me tell you one thing, as far as getting on the lift, it's never been easier. Um, on the design of the product, they are made from durable wood core, same material as skis, and uh, that makes the product very durable, obviously. These are designed to last for years if not decades and uh, the edges are metal and uh, very sharp which makes turns and breaks really really easy so i definitely recommend it if you want to have some fun try something new this is a way to go show us some tricks All right, guys, so now I have this uh, other product from Snowfeed, which is uh, Ski Boards 99. As you can see yourself, this is a little longer. With that comes a little bit of a restriction of a movement, but I would highly recommend this for those of you that are good skiers, uh, but at the same time, want to try something that is a little more playful, a little more fun, something that allows you to do more tricks and just uh, get a little more joy out of this whole thing. These uh, Snowfeed 99, Gotta force you to do a little longer curves versus this shorter 65 model where it was just kind of like shorter zigzagging. This is uh, more of a longer curves. It's really hard to tell which one is better. I like them both. I guess I just need to uh, uh, use these a little more and to really get a feel for it. And then I'll uh, share some more feedback with you guys. Let's go. If you're a snowboarder versus a skier, not a problem. I am a snowboarder and uh, I can tell you it's super easy to just snap your snowboard boot right in. If you're a skier, you do the same with a ski boot. They come with two different bindings, which is pretty amazing. Getting on the lift with this, it's never been easier. Uh, again, this is a little shorter than the regular ski, so any movement, any sort of flexibility is going to be increased. My personal experience with this, it was a little more difficult for me to uh, control these longer uh, snow feet versus the 65s just because they're a little longer but again if i gave it a little more time let's say uh, two three more days i would be able to uh, get a hang of it nonetheless all right guys and finally we uh, saved the best for the last i'm here with the last but arguably the most exciting ski skates model they're simply called ski skates don't let the word simple uh, fool you because these are still made of a highly durable material, the work core. And these uh, ones are best for all of you who are skaters. Whether it's ice skating or rollerblading, you can have so much fun with these. How does it feel using the lift with uh, ski skates? Oh my God. Speaking of simple, I mean, this doesn't get any easier. It's uh, flexible in your movement. Getting on the lift itself never felt easier. I mean, this is it. I expected having difficulties, you know, just kind of easing into it. Everything takes time, right? But with these, it feels like it's just super easy right from the get-go, right from the back. And that makes me all the more excited. Let's uh, hit some of the challenging steeper slopes, see if I uh, change my opinion. But as of right now, guys, these feel fantastic. Let's go.
and these are easy, super easy to uh, navigate. The only thing that you want to stay away from is leaning frontward because what happens if you do so and you uh, get into a deeper snow, as you can see these tips right here, they are a little curved at the end, but uh, at the same time, you want to make sure that when you get into a deeper snow, you don't lean forward. Or the, otherwise, you're just going to flip frontwards, just like uh, what happened to me. You can see I got a little bit of a mustache, but that comes with the product. Due to their restricted length, they're very easy to uh, use. And uh, when it comes to all, all kinds of tricks, whether it's crossovers, jumps, uh, any kind of tricks, again, because it's shorter, uh, it's less restrictive consequently, and that's what makes these a lot of fun. My personal experience with these, guys, um, I can tell you that out of the three models that I tried today, these are my personal favorites, simply because I feel most free with these. Not only they are great on the slopes, but uh, you get a lot of attention from people asking. As far as the lift goes, they're not only tolerated, but they're embraced because they do have those sharp metal edges. So uh, you can totally use them at Mammoth Mountain or any other place whatsoever. There's no problem getting on the lift and using them, no restrictions at all. I love the attention I get with this. Uh, you know, I traditionally am a shy guy. I'm single, but I'm thinking with these on my feet, I just might turn it around. Highly recommend. All right, guys, as you can see, I got all three snow feet models lined up here from the longest to the shortest. As far as the uh, snow feet 99 goes, I would definitely recommend these for those of you who are avid skiers. Uh, it gives you the same or similar feel, but I would argue that these are even better when it comes to movement, uh, tricks and stuff because it's slightly shorter. This is definitely more playful, gives you more freedom, more fun to use overall. As far as the other model goes, the uh, 65s that I have right here, these I would recommend for those of you who uh, like tricks, whether it's uh, crossovers, flips, jumps, these are gonna make it a lot of fun. And again, whether you're snowboarder or skiers, they have bindings that are both for skis and snowboard. And ultimately, my personal favorite, the shortest one, simply called Ski Skates. I would recommend these for all of you who want to try something totally new. Uh, those of you who are maybe skaters but want to take it to the snow, this is going to feel fantastic. Getting on the lift, it's never been easier. These give you ultimate freedom. Try them and see what it feels for you.